Hello everybody, welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. Uh, I'm solo vlogging today. I'm in the car because I'm about to head out to a place called the Best Halloween Store Ever. That's the name. That literally is the name of it. And we're gonna find out if it is actually the best Halloween store ever. Uh, I do have to give you a little warning. Uh, this one is a little more gory than your typical uh, Home Depot, spirit store type of thing. Uh, these guys are pretty detailed in their gore and the props are pretty horrific. So just a warning because I know that we have uh, a lot of kids that watch the channel and you folks that are a little more sensitive to gory stuff and blood and those types of things. This one's pretty gory, uh, pretty awesome. But at the same time, it's kind of a unique place because they do event setups for a lot of the celebrities in Hollywood, you know, when they want to do up their yards or have a party. These are the guys that you go to. So with that in mind, uh, fair warning, but let's go check out the best Halloween store ever. This location is located at 275 Moore Park Road. It says they open at 11 a.m. Six feet is the sweet spot. They got their little social distance markers happening in a very festive way. Sweet spot, Halloween, get it? But since there's no one here and I got here super early, right for opening, uh, I don't need to use the markers. I'm going right in. Look at this creepy scene when you first walk in. Look at this guy. He's like, welcome. Okay. Oh, you know what? Look in the back there, there seems to be some uh, some markings of, uh, I don't know how many how many days he's been in there, but he wants out. And this guy kind of assuming a, almost a yoga position to be trapped where he is. Clearly a pirate with his earring. And right away I can tell that this place is a whole nother level. Whoa, quite a stack of heads on the skewers there. <laughs> Now look at this mausoleum type entry. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Kind of guarded by this guy and then a headless friend. Maybe that's his head down there. Look at this creepy kid. Oh man, not looking too good there, buddy. Might want to get that checked out. They also specialize in awesome Christmas stuff too. Look at this. But then here where two holidays collide, look at, is that Krampus? Reminds me of that one at Universal Studios, that one maze with the the holidays with that creepy tall Krampus looking guy that is insane oh boy here's an interesting congregation of uh, holidays colliding as well <laughs> Santa doesn't look perturbed as I would be neither does Rudolph making my way further back whoa this place you guys already I'm like 10 feet into this place and I'm already blown away more random spooky horned creature like people quite a large scary clown i'm sure we'll see more scary clown stuff as we make our way through this is nuts here's another mausoleum type entry with a giant tombstone don't mourn my loss whatever you do my leaving brings you closer to the loved ones i have left behind and all the joys of the future holds Oh, there's another scary clown. I knew it. That guy's like nine feet tall. As we make our way to the back of this corner. Whoa, giant black widow spider there. Look at him. You thought he was giant. Look at this guy. <laughs> this is massive. I assume you could put that on the outside of your house. Unreal. Looks to be almost an authentic casket right here with a glass preview type of window in it for 380 bucks. That thing looks legit. Boo! Yeah, no, you're not so scary compared to some of this other stuff. 50% off for this guy. But he's not half as scary. He's 100% scary. We've got some gargoyles on pedestals waiting to spring to life and fly into your dreams. Who does this guy remind you of? Any Haunted Mansion fans out there recognize the similarity between that scared gentleman right there? This skeleton seems to be wasting away. He's lost his, his legs. He's still hanging there, scary though. And a grouping of really scary little girls crawling up and down the wall here. And even one who's gonna come get at your feet down there. Look at her. Here, reminiscent of another attraction that we love so much at Disneyland. But this guy looks like he's got bad intentions, clearly. Look how real those eyes look. Look at that. Look at this entry, the Boneyard. Looks like a scary version of David Crosby. 
more 50% off stuff. Pretty cool, look at this. <laughs> Very demonic. You can even get some dismembered fellows. Guts are just pouring out of this guy. Oh my gosh. And again, I love the juxtaposition of Santa and Halloween. Just a reminder, videos of thieves will be blasted all over social media. Beware. Beware! So I'm in the costume section here, and uh, the gentleman that works here was telling me that basically this place specializes in setups and making, you know, haunts for your house or your front yard. You basically pick a theme and they will deck it out accordingly, and I'm sure a price point would be discussed as to, you know, the severity, the, uh, the size of, of your setup that you're asking for. But they really specialize in that type of stuff. And this year, because of what's going on in the world, obviously, they've kind of downsized the store a little bit. The store used to house a lot of scenes, almost walkthroughs that were active that you could check out, kind of get an idea of what they do. Uh, this year, because of the situation, obviously, those aren't set up, but we can still check out all the props and all the costumes and things that they still have to offer. It's still the best Halloween store ever. Don't get me wrong. There's kind of a headwear and mask section. You know, this one always, always freaked me out. The makeup clear mask, it is just, for some reason, that gets me. This guy's looking dapper. That one's pretty spooky too, because if you did some crazy eye makeup to match that, that would be pretty convincing. Skeletor? Oh no, more of these creepy makeup style masks. Th those things, maybe I'll get one of those. Because those are just another level of creepy to me. And of course, don't forget you can get your Jason hockey mask. Oh, your fava beans, your Clarice. <laughs> Silence of the Lambs restraint mask, as it's called in generic terms. And again, 50% off for this stuff. Maybe you're an A-Team fan and you can <laughs> do your best Mr. T. Or Clubber Lang, you choose the franchise. And the generic term promoter wig, Don King right there. There's Dr. Mel Practice right next to some sweet stashes. Look at those stashes. Wow. And we found Patrick Bogora. There he is, Patrick Bogora. Looking fine there, sir, with a leprechaun beard. Even some costume footwear available. Looks to be a Grim Reaper photo op that you could rent or purchase. Look at that, that's so cool. Check out this skeleton steed, wow. Alright, back to some spooky stuff. This guy clearly morphed into some sort of spider-like creature. There's a cool piece with a skeleton inside kind of a chamber of sorts. And next to our skeleton friend we've got some, some weaponry and a shovel. Maybe to dig a grave. More weaponry and a giant pipe wrench. For those Halloween plumbing problems that you may incur. Hey, we have this. Some light up door knockers. This stuff up here is a must. Freaky fabric, I love the name of it, but I got some of that a couple years ago and it's really, it's a good, a good little effect. It's the small details sometimes that fill in the haunt. And let's not forget witches, welcome. Free broom parking. Well, that's considerate. Here's some more tame, mellower decorations. This plastic tub houses some some bones, some random bones. You can see there's some hands in there. Speaking of bones, here's some skeleton dog yard stake and a skeleton yard stake that you can post out front. Oh, let's get a little selfie, huh? Smile. Oh, you're already smiling. I'm, I'm smiling. I am. It's just under the mask. I just. I'm smiling. There's a plethora of gravestones, tombstones, if you will. More tombstones over here, a little larger size. And I'm really digging this kind of spooky candelabra. That's a nice piece. Put that in the entry. Severed feet, that's pretty gruesome. There's a bag of baby heads. Good to have a good stock of those. And some more uh, candelabra type things, really cool. Put candles on those and in a dark room, that is, very effective. And it looks like here we have some jars of formaldehyde with with some parts. Not even sure what these parts are. 
Well, this one looks like a like an octopus, but some of this other stuff, I'm not really familiar with. Check out what this guy's looking at. He's checking out the popcorn because his rat buddy is inside there chomping away. You want to get some of that? You got to wait. You got to wait your turn. The more rats that look like they've had some demonic popcorn because they look rabid. Found another box of bones, some pelvic regions, some fibia, tibia. I'm not even sure what those are. It looks like an arm bone, actually. Here's some smaller shelf type decor. Skeleton based Grim Reaper. Could this be the skeleton of the Silver Surfer, maybe? He's very shiny. Is it a centipede or a millipede? I'm not sure. Either way, creepy. Now, this one could either be in your Southwest designed home. Georgia O'Keeffe style or just haunted cow. There's a spinning motor that you can hang your props from. That's a good idea. Along with some projections, some spotlights, a lot of lighting needs here. It's always always a good thing to have in your haunt is good lighting really does the trick. As well as you always have to have bismuth subgallic with you or bismuth carbon. It's kind of a must. In, in, as far as I'm concerned. Here's a prop that you can really kick it into high gear with. This is pretty disturbing. It's a... Uh, looks to be a bloody pig. Scary swine, if you will. Next to the uh, farmer that probably helped take him to that scary place he's at. I think this lady must have ingested some twine. Not sure what she was thinking. But she's even got a... She's got a corncob pipe right there. Maybe she tried to eat the corncob pipe. I'm not really sure what's going on here, but terrifying nonetheless. This place really is another level as far as the propage and the, the skeletons and, I mean, look at this. Kind of a haunted chicken coop, if you will. This woman has been skewered by what appears to be, do they call that a pike or is it just a spike? I'm not sure, but she's impaled on that thing and it's pretty gruesome as well as this one here. She's got the spike right through the top of her head. Yeah, pretty much figured out what killed you. Looks like these three are maybe trying to start a band. I'm not sure what they're up to, but this one here, she's holding a couple severed heads, a couple of victims. You're not sorry about it, are you? At all. No, you're not. She's very realistic, though. This guy's had half of his face kind of ripped off, and he's been pretty much disemboweled. That is, that is unbelievable. <laughs> But I like his style. He's he's wearing Converse. Pretty cool. <laughs> nice green Converse. But they've been bloodied up and messed up. And just to get an idea of the prices, uh, this one, the Spike Through the Head Lady, is $7.99. This woman has had her entire face peeled down just above the cheekbones there. This woman thing, uh, horned creature. It's got a nice nose ring, but definitely needs some dental work. Definitely need some dental work. This gargoyle is $999, but pretty neat. It's on this pedestal. Rather large. If you've had that in your yard, two of those, if you could afford them. Oh, and here's some Calc Lactic. I didn't know that they had that. That's been missing from my repertoire. I need to uh, maybe purchase that. Generally speaking, one scary clown is usually enough, but <laughs> we've got a two-headed clown, which I've never seen before. That's just... It's too much, guys. Too much. Look at the eyes. Ooh. Seems to be a uh, priest that has turned demonic, surrounded by these angel statues that are $1,299. But those are amazing. Look. Wow. She's got a little extra stuff coming out of there to, to help her consume. Look at this guy creeping behind her. Not being very socially distant, sir. He wouldn't know. He's... He's an old miner that hasn't been alive in probably some years, I can tell by the, the color. He's got some, some green goo coming out of him there. I don't know what that's about. But if you're concerned about vampires, you can get this giant clove of garlic to keep away those feisty vampires. This, uh, I say woman loosely, but as terrifying as most of these, but she seems to be wearing someone's hand around her neck as a... Uh, I don't know. A little prize. A little remembrance. Hard to see, but there below these skeletal spiders, there is an octopus in there. He looks like he's being eaten by the spiders. 
kind of out of his element. These ones up here doing an insane yoga position that I'm not sure is really safe for humans that are actually alive. I would say that possession is pretty much the case in this situation. There's another one reaching out right there. Now these are rather interesting. This looks to be something that you would wear because it looks, uh, yeah, like you would put this on and it covers your whole, most of your body to really give that effect so there's no makeup line or anything. I mean, that is, that's pretty terrifying. Sign reads, no touching. Yeah, don't really want to touch. I'm good. Decomposition at its finest. More scary clowns, this time impaled on kind of a stick. Look at these guys. Wow. Look at, there's even these black leafless trees with this scary guy hiding behind them. I see you. Don't think you're hiding. I can see right through there. You don't fool me, buddy. Here's a werewolf type of creature. Oh man, looks like you had a good lunch. Here's a plethora of chains and skull and bone laden chains. Probably should have kept that zipper closed because it probably would have prevented this from happening to you. Here's a neat piece. It's like an old radio adorned with a skull. Looks like the devil has been disemboweled. It is all over the place. Somebody's eaten on the job. I guess you got to get your nutrition somehow. Everybody's got their way. There's just so much here. It's crazy. I didn't even notice this cow head right here. Severed cow head. That, <laughs> oh my gosh. Check out this guy. He's trying to make it. He's trying to crawl away, but I don't think it's going to work out. He is great. More disembowelness. Now this is a really cool candelabra. A skullalabra? Is that what that is? That's a nice piece. All right, that was awesome. Good luck getting out of there, Mr. Pirate. I wish you the best of luck. Well, that's gonna wrap it up from the best Halloween store ever in Thousand Oaks, California. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up, it helps. And uh, we will see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye-bye, everybody.